All right, so this turned into a three-parter pretty quick, but I wanted to show you kind of each individual piece. Um, there's a lot of places that you can fast forward through the first two parts, but we're going to finish this thing off. All right, so we've got our Gatsby text going. We've got our Art Deco um, kind of pattern happening here, and I think it's looking pretty cool. There is some dead space here. You can probably do something cool there. I don't know, but I, I'm liking how it's turning out. So now let's go ahead and give some some shadows to our background piece. So select the, the layer that is the background and let's go to our, our trusty old burn tool. All right, so you want a soft brush. So hardness set to zero, the size, I have it about 100 pixels and you just kind of want to burn where the overlap is. This is very kind of easy going. Okay, let me, uh, where's my burn tool? Okay. So just kind of get along where a shadow would be. Go around. Kind of do where the letters overlap a little bit. And you just want to pull in a shadow through the whole kind of piece here to give it some depth. Because if you'll notice in the poster art, they, they do something similar where it looks like it do, it looks like it's connected, but it's actually it's actually not. <laughs> so there we go. So we've given some shadow to those those background parts. All right. So I'm gonna press control. Uh, I'm gonna save this so I don't lose it. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. Example. If I can spell example. All right. So we want to give the whole thing kind of a, a a brighter kind of sheen to it. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna hide these so you can see. I'm going to toggle on our original shapes here that we use for the outline. And shape two, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the parts we don't need here as well. Because now we're going to use this as kind of a, uh, a mask. Okay. Okay, so our original shapes, if you're done, let's go ahead and merge all those together. Control E. Now, let's create a another gradient. So I'm going to create a new layer above everything. We can actually toggle these back on for now. And let's create a new gradient. So I've got this one gradient chosen. This is also, if, if you open up the gradient editor and go to load, Let's see, how did I get to it before? Actually, let me cancel so I can show you this. Okay, so I got to it this way before. If you if you click the arrow drop down, you see this little gear icon. You get these these elements here. Now there's one called metals. Now I loaded metals and it gave me this these bottom five. Okay, so we got these these bottom five options. Use the uh, the one that looks more orange. See that? So let me open this up. So it looks like it's going from a orange to white, orange to white, and, and it's actually FFCC3C. Okay. So now we're just simply going to drag a gradient across the entire thing. And this is going to help brighten it up. So let's turn this uh, blend mode to soft light. And let's go ahead and turn the opacity down just a hair. So around around 50%. Okay. Now, again, hold control, and let's take a selection of our overall shape, and we're going to mask that. All right. So we've added just a little bit more yellow to it um, to give it kind of that brassy look. I'm sorry, a little more orange to it, actually. And let me double-check... Yeah, we, we probably want to keep soft likes. We just want to give it a little bit to pull it away. Okay. So the next thing that we that we want to do is let's go ahead and bring in our original text. And you want to keep that. That's in the right layer. So let's go ahead and give this a gradient overlay. Kind of like so, so gradient overlay. 
And for this text, we want to kind of go from a, a, a white to kind of a, a lighter gray, kind of like that, maybe back to a almost white, like that, and then the last one we'll do a little bit darker gray again, kind of like so. All right, now we also want to give it an inner shadow. And this, the, the blend mode is multiply. Size, that's eh, kind of just to your liking. doesn't have to be um, too, too big there. Distance is also to your liking. We're just going to kind of peel it away from our uh, text a little bit. And kind of play around with your settings. Okay, so about 45% opacity, distance 3, choke 0, size 4. And that kind of pulls it away a little bit. Now, there's other things you can do in here. We're going to create kind of a layer effect, uh, a metal effect real quick. So new layer. And simply fill that layer with 50% gray. Go to filter, noise, add noise. We can keep the same settings we had before. Hit OK. Now go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and still want to keep it at 50 pixels, but let's change the angle a little bit. In fact, maybe this time we'll go to a 45 degree angle. Like that. Now remember, hold Control on your, your text layer here, and you'll bring up the selection. Give that a mask. And then let's change the overall blend mode to maybe something like overlay. And that gave it kind of that grainy uh, metal, which looks real nice. So I think it's looking pretty good. It's actually, there, there's been multiple places where you can actually just stop. <laughs> but we're going to kind of work on some details here. Okay, so one other trick that you'll notice is that there's a, this little bit of a blur happening, right? So let's go ahead and actually prior to doing that we're gonna create another layer above everything and we need to kinda of give this a little more um, a little more of a, a dynamic dramatic look to it so let's go to our gradient tool and when we loaded metals you'll see that there's also this gradient this black to white to black gradient so let's use that one and let's just go ahead and drag out another gradient. And I've, I dragged, let's see, we want something so the, the white is kind of in the middle, but maybe something like that. Now let's turn this one to overlay. And let's turn the opacity down to about 44%, something like that. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so now let's let's look at that that blur effect we've got going on. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to darken my text a little bit because that last effect kind of blew it out a little bit. So I'm going to darken this gray down. So this will help the text read a little better. There, that looks cool. All right. So the last little bit uh, that we're going to do in the tutorial is do that kind of that blur effect. So what you want to do is we need to have a copy of, of everything here. Um, let's go ahead and create one last thing so go to your original shape we need to take a selection of that because we gotta give our uh, our overlay kinda of metal effect gradient here a mask like so okay so now and, and kind of an easy way to do this is hold shift and select all of your layers that you're using don't select the background layer hold shift again and click this little folder icon to group it. And we missed the text here. All right, there we go. 
So now you should have everything in this group. Okay. Now you can also, Control J also works on the group. So Control J, and we'll get a copy of the entire group, and let's press Control E. Now there's, there's kind of a variety of ways you can do this. I'm going to show you a method that, that will work in older versions of Photoshop. Simply go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Okay. Now let's blur it probably around six or seven pixels. Kind of like so. All right, so we've got that blur effect, but now we can't really see much. So let's give it a layer mask. Okay. And the parts that we don't want blurred, we're going to paint uh, with a soft, large brush. We're going to paint out the blur areas. That's too big. So probably something like so. And this helps give it a little more depth as well. And there you go. That's pretty much the uh, the tutorial in a nutshell <laughs> in three parts. <laughs> Sorry, it took much longer than than I expected, but it is kind of uh, it, it's a time consuming uh, tutorial to to or, or just project in general to go through and just draw all this out. And uh, but it is a lot of fun. So definitely have fun with it. I'll show you uh, another one that I came up with with another font. So this was sticking to more um, kind of orangish. Um, effects here or, or colors I mean so definitely play around with it you can get different uh, different things and oh one last thing before I forget I got this image from Shutterstock so if you want to apply a quick texture um, you can do something like this it's a it's a brass I just did a, a search for brass texture and I'm just pasting this into my document and I'm gonna cover the entire thing like so and this will just help kind of give it a little bit of um, extra oomph so I turned the uh, the blend mode to overlay and the opacity is around 32 percent you probably want to knock out and give it a mask here and get rid of that text area so I'm going to select inverse here and click my mask tool. So that'll give it a little more realism, giving it a texture like that. But there you go. It's a uh, it's a pretty cool effect. And uh, if you push it even further, you can get it more realistic looking. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it. So just have fun with it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you later.